Hello, my name is Richard Correa, and I am the developer of Ray Drive Order, which is a software tool for determining the configuration of either a RAID 5 or a RAID 0. Over the years, I've recovered a lot of RAIDs, and I would say of those RAIDs that I've recovered, 50 to 60% of them arrived here at the shop with an either invalid or wrong setup. Now, since you've purchased this software, I'm sure you're well aware of that fact and have turned to this tool to help you recover your RAID. RAID Drive Order is simple to use and it works well for both RAID 5 and RAID 0. In addition, the graphical display during the discovery phase uh, will, help you keep, uh, will help keep you apprised of the progress of the recovery. Now, I use special algorithms that are related to the NTFS file system. Now, this will help speed the discovery process, but it's also why the software will only work on an NTFS file system. In addition, the software is hard-coded for a maximum amount of 8 drives, so if you have a RAID that has more than 8 drives, uh, the software will not work. So now, with all that being said, let's take a look at RAID Drive Order and see how it can help you recover your RAID. Uh, first of all, there are really only three areas of the screen here that you need to be worried, with, worried about. Right here are the buttons, which are the actual functions of the software. This is a display area, shows you all the images and or drives that you have on your system or have uh, used uh, for your RAID. And finally, the RAID type, which you'll choose um, when you before the discovery process. Now, for illustrative purposes, I have created four images that are configured as a RAID 5. And the RAID is an asynchronous, has an asynchronous block order with a left block rotation and has a 64K block size. The images are out of order on purpose and will serve as a good example for uh, how the software functions. So let's start our discovery process and see how the software works. First of all, we want to bring our images in. So we go over here to the buttons. We want to mount image and what you'll see then is the explorer box. It allows you to take a look at your system and see where you've stored your images. Mine are on the H drive. these four images right here. Now I want to explain the naming conventions of these, four, of these four images. As you can see it says drive zero, but it's actually drive two. And what that means is this. As an example, this came marked from the client as drive zero, but the software actually sees it when it's discovering what the RAID order actually is as drive two. So once again, the client marked the drive as drive one, but once the discovery process is finished, the software has decided what the, what the uh, actual order is. It's actually drive three, and so on and so forth through all the images. Uh, just as an aside note, sometimes RAIDs will come with more drives. A client will send me more drives than are actually in the array. I get that all the time. So what you want to do in that case is that you want to mark the ones that you think are actually in the RAID and then start the uh, the drive order. If I start the uh, the discovery process by clicking on Find Drive Order, and then if this isn't it, then you select a different set, a different set until you finally find the correct set. Later on, I'm going to improve the software to where it'll actually, if you have six drives in the array, but there's only four drives that are actually in the array, it'll actually find those four drives and also find the find the drive order for you. But for right now, know that these four drives, all four of these drives, are actually in the array. So what we want to do is we want to choose these drives, all four of these drives, for the software to use in determining the RAID configuration. Now I have a button here that says Select All, and that's what it does. It chooses all these drives here. I put that button in there as a debugging tool initially because I was just I had I was doing so many tests that I just didn't want to have to reclick, and so I just left it in for you guys. Um, now once we have all the images marked, all we have to do now is take the mouse and click on the RAID type. And like I said before, this is a RAID 5. The final step is to click on the button Find Drive Order, which I've mentioned earlier. And this will initiate the discovery phase. So let's click on that here. Now what you see here is, an, is a graphical illustration of the permutation that we we'll certainly look at, or the drive order that is currently being used. This is the actual block order and rotation. So if you can see, the parity is the P drive, is a P uh, block and it moves from right to left, which is left parity. 
as you see the numbering is 0, 1, 2, and then 3 does not start at the beginning of the stripe. It starts after the pair is a block. That's called synchronous block order. Asynchronous block order would be 0, 1, 2, and then 3 would be here like this. This is asynchronous. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Once the uh, discovery phase is finished and it thinks it's found a uh, possible drive order, you'll get this message box that says, RAID 5, I have found a possible drive order. Next thing is, all you have to do is click this to close this. And on the right hand side here, you'll see the results. Now, as I said before, you can see which was the first, the second, the third, and the fourth drive, and that will correspond to the markings, put to the drive name here. So actually drive zero would be the first drive. Actually drive one would be the second drive. Actually drive two would be the third and actually drive four would be the fourth. You can see how the software did go out and find the correct images. That's it. That's, that's, it's that simple. Uh, the one thing you do want to remember is that uh, this block size here. So if you go to reconfigure array or use a piece of data recovery software or RAID recovery software then you want to, you're going to want to have this block size. Actually, you're going to want to have all this if you use a piece of software. It's going to want to know the block order and rotation, the RAID type, the block size, and the drive order. So all that information you'll need. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call here at the office. My phone number is area code 727-345-9665, and my extension is 203. Once again, my name is Richard Correa. I'd be more than happy to help you with anything. Just give me a call. Thank you.